Greetings YouTube. I'm Lord Baron 100. So, uh, I'm going to go over a couple of things. I am you know, your spiritual and wellness go-to person in the Elect 7. Um, so, let's go over some things. Uh, my beliefs. That's uh, very complicated. Uh, you can put me in the neatest box of Theravada Buddhism, um, but I don't even really fit that box very well. Um, I am a Democrat, a very strong Democrat. Uh, now, what is my purpose? What do I plan to accomplish uh, during this little session here? Well, what I plan to accomplish is a couple of things. I plan to inform you about other beliefs. I'm going to give you. I'm going to suggest and give advice based on my own personal experience. Note that all of my advice is my personal point of view. You don't have to critique it, even though you can, and I do welcome you to. However, I do wish you would remain respectful of other people's beliefs when my information is about how other people view the world. But you can critique my critique my beliefs uh, to the end of the world. Okay. Um, so my belief is this kind of a philosophy I'm working on on my own called spiritual pragmatism. Now whether it exists or not, I don't know. I haven't done my research. But this is how I define it. And this is where I'm going to be coming from. This is going to be my essence. It's going. It entails a couple of things. Number one, does it work? That's extremely important to me because if what you're doing in your spiritual life isn't working, if you're not any, if all you're becoming is more devout, then it serves nothing. If you practice your rites and rituals, you know, every day or every uh, week or whatever, that makes no difference. What's important is that you remain uh, in a constant state of betterment, that you're constantly becoming better. Little by little progress, that's what real spirituality does. It makes you a better person. The other thing is my, and my viewpoints are across sectarian. They're, they don't limit themselves to one. If you practice the things that I suggest, if you're a Jew, you'll be a better Jew. If you're a Muslim, you'll be a better Muslim. If you're a Hindu, you'll be a better Hindu. So does it work, whatever you're doing, and are you working? Because that's extremely important. If you're not working, if you think that all you can do is get down on your hands and knees and pray, all day to you know Almighty God to fix stuff for you, then you're not practicing spiritual pragmatism. That's some kind of ritualistic dogmatic uh, belief system that I can't help you with. My thing and my personal thing, is the reason why it's called pragmatism, it could also be called spiritual workism. I want people to work for their spirituality, to understand that we must find our own salvations. One of my great teachers once said that faith without works is dead. So if you're faith without, if you have faith but it's blind faith, if you say, oh, I'm a great devotee of Jesus Christ or, or I'm a Christian or I'm a Jew, oh, very good. Well, if you're a Christian, are you embodying what it means to be Christ? Have, do you develop that love and compassion towards all beings? If you're a Buddhist, I'm going to be making fun of you all a lot because that's my own personal belief. If you wake up in the morning and say, I take refuge in Buddha, Dhamma, Sangha, and all this every day, are you trying to become Buddha? Are you trying to follow Dhamma? Are you being in the fellowship of the Sangha? If not, then there's no purpose in you reciting this. Okay? The other thing is, is what you're doing coming from a place of love, a place of happiness, of peace, and one of my favorite words, equanimity, which means keeping a balanced mind even in difficult situations is extremely important. So that's uh, my intro. A lot of people want credentials on YouTube. I know when I see people talk about spirituality, I want to know, well, what have you done? Okay, well, my accomplishments are meager, but... I will share them because I think that's important. Uh, so you know where I'm coming from. I've completed two days, uh, or rather two 10-day um, courses at the SN Goenka Vipassana Retreat, which is where a lot of my beliefs come from. 
and as a as a Buddhist that only deepens the practice, though the Vipassana that they teach there is non-sectarian, I applied it to my Buddhism. Others apply it to their Christianity, their is uh, the Islam they practice to it, their Judaism, all on that stuff. Uh, so it doesn't matter whether or not you know what sect you fall under. The Vipassana by S. N. Goenka in the tradition of Sayaji Ubakin, 10 day silent meditation retreat. So I thought about this stuff for, you know, extended periods of time. Um, I've done some fire walking, Native American sweat lodges. I've done some physical stuff as far as bending rebar with the throat. I have um, also done or, and do uh, Tai Chi Chuan in the style of Chung Man Ching. And that'll come later. Um, and so that's me. That's my experiences. Those are some of the foundations. I chant, you know, and I and I have. There are plenty of other experiences that are meditation-like for me, which are you know singing, um, and that's another a big inspiration of mine. Again, the physical exercise like Tai Chi. Uh, even though I might not look at it, have a little extra uh, on the cheeks there. And I do practice and I try to make uh, be fit. I'm a vegetarian and a very strict one about it. Um, I do not eat anything that uh, lived at one point. So that's me, no flesh whatsoever. And so for me, um, every thing, uh, every video will probably end with a spiritual lesson. And so, for example, today's spiritual lesson is about the breath. And every spiritual lesson comes with a spiritual challenge. So, what I want you to do until next week is I want you to take two minutes. Okay? All I want is two minutes. And in those two minutes, I want you to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. And when you breathe in, I want you to say, love. And when you breathe out, I want you to say truth. You breathe in love, you breathe in love, and you breathe out truth. So this is what I want you to do for two minutes. Every spiritual challenge that you do, I'm going to try to do. And uh, I'll be quite honest whether I do it or not or how that works out in my daily schedule. Um, so there it is, the breath. Next week, we're going to go uh, deeper into a meditation style and what I will actually do is chanting and the purpose of mantras and why people do it, how you can incorporate it into your daily life and how this fits in with my spiritual pragmatism. You hear chanting and you hear mantras and you're thinking, oh goodness, that's some Buddhist or that's some Hindu thing. But what people don't realize is we tell ourselves mantras every day. And so I'll get more into that next week. Can't wait to see you all again. Be happy. Be peaceful. Peaceful.